before I really get rolling and to avoid talking while I'm in traffic, a little explanation. Easter Sunday and I'm expecting not that much traffic. Still, um, getting out early because I want to go surfing later today. <laughs> getting out early because, well, it's been a while since I've been on the bike and I hope to make this a big one. So, we'll see how we go. Um, I have nothing uh, on my mind to talk about, but something probably will come to mind. So, join me. Story of my ride. 31st of March. Ronde van Vlaanderen dag. So, uh, that's a Tour of Flanders day. It's on today, the biggest race, the biggest one day race of the year. Anyway, I'm not there, I'm in Sydney, and uh, I'm going to go to the north and see what comes of it. Okay, intro of the story of my ride, done. Let's see what comes of this adventure. in the pre-dawn and as expected traffic up until this point perfect exactly right could be the best day for of the year for cycling in Sydney yeah it's true anyway um just a quick explanation because it's Easter that's why it's really good because everyone's escaped town and gone away for four days or something or they're just sleeping in or you know waiting for the Easter bunny or whatever. Can't resist. Bloody beautiful, any time of the day or night. Who teaches that ride in the middle lane shenanigans? Why don't you ride in the left lane when there's a left lane? I think I left the Rafa bunch behind, I hope. Anyway, that's their prerogative to ride the way they do, but it, it impacts us all. And slowly getting towards the north and the day is only getting better in my appraisal. Bloody beautiful weather. Um, had a chat with Sean and he's uh, on a mission today. He's, uh, he, he, yeah, I left him. He, he, he was pushing it. I don't mind riding with others. Yeah, but I have seen some strange bunch work going down this morning and I wish it wouldn't be like that because I won't give a lecture. It is what it is. Sun is shining, and I'm up at uh, Church Point, and a little uh, yeah, switcheroo from uh, from the GoPro underneath the saddle to the GoPro. Just 
there and uh, up the hill and see where we end up. I don't think uh, I've got a lot to say today other than the beautiful weather and it's great to be on the bicycle. As soon as I got to Karingai Chase National Park, my current location, the fog just came and settled down. And I've been so tempted just to stop and film the beautiful, well, there's many of them. I'll find the perfect one, but there's so many lovely dew catching, insect catching spider webs. And they're, yeah, it's just glorious light. It's put me in a sprightly mood, I have to say. Isn't that pretty? Like, amazing, I reckon. Uh, it's been terrific. It's showing 14 degrees on my Wahoo Element Bolt. But it feels like... Uh, 16. No, I've done that joke before, it's not funny. I haven't seen a live bird. I think there's just too many bike riders puffing and panting their way through here. But um, I've heard them. And I remember a couple of years ago, I came here in the car hoping to find one. And I was gonna sit, I think I've done this joke, but I, I, no, I won't. Yeah, I'll tell you again. And I was gonna say, I am a live bird. I am a live bird for like half an hour and see if it would mimic me. But I didn't. So that's a boring joke, isn't it? Okay. I said spider webs. I'm a little bit far away. I don't know if I'm going to catch the light, but I'm going to give it a bell because they're bloody amazing. I got a little tip for you if you're a flying insect. Don't come here at this time of the year. Chances of survival, pretty slim I would say. I have seen acres of spider webs, acres of them. It's amazing. Oh, I, I don't know if the, maybe it can. I've tried it before and it, it sort of worked, but the GoPro, at this pace, isn't really taking it in. But, trust me, amazing, amazing, amazing.
why I've said it before. Heaps of spider waves. I'm pretty sure every commentary about this place that could have been conjured has been done because it's impo I find it difficult. Actually, I don't know if I've ever ridden the Hast. I just have to drop in and tell you the same thing every time. It's bloody beautiful. <sighs> Wouldn't you agree? Okay, I forgot my uh, sunny wipe today and I showed it up because it's, yeah, fog. Duh. But it's lifting quickly. Notice what those leaves are doing. Absolutely still, blissfully still. I have seen spiderwebs before, but today I've seen so many and it's really captivating me. Yeah, I'm really, whatever. I'll let the pictures tell a story. And back into town. Had a great ride, actually. A few people said g'day. One guy said hello, Peter, I think his name was. And he said, see that bike my son's riding? I said, yes. He said, and I was like, what's that? We won it in a subscription competition with Ride Cycling Review in about 2011. And I said, ah, oh, terrific. And he said, I couldn't bear to, to sell it when it was you know, when it was passed, it's used by for me. So that's why his son's riding it. Yeah, that made me feel good. You know, it was a focus. His Alco Max had rim brakes. Looks nothing like my focus is Alco Max. But anyway, there you go. That was a good story. So uh, I'm not out of breath. But it was a nice 100k ride. I just tipped over four hours just then, actually, 102k. And almost 1,400 metres of climbing. No hassles in traffic. Oh, one guy from the ACT <laughs> had to uh, yell abuse at me and throw a milkshake out his window. <laughs> I, I didn't laugh, actually. I was just like, whatever, child. <laughs> 